Hello everybody, Reed Connolly, MLS Fantasy Boss here, and today I'm coming to you with an important mini update to the 2024 game. For those of you who may have listened to the round two preview episode of the MLS Fantasy Insider podcast, you already have this information, but I wanted to send out a more focused video for those who may not have the time and just want to get this important update. So, as we covered in our previous episode of MLS Fantasy Insider, there have been changes to how players generate points in the fantasy game. This is now different than what our expectation was going into round one. So why did this happen? The reason is that in 2023, MLS announced a change in who they were partnering with to provide stats for MLS in general, which includes the fantasy game. This is the same company that provides stats for the Bundesliga fantasy game, and so it's a very reputable company and no shade here at all of that. It's just a shift away from Opta is all that's happened there. Because of this, that's what's driven some of the changes to the stats that we've seen in the fantasy game. Uh, and with that has come, I'm assuming, this is all fantasy boss here, uh, just some, some difficulties in mapping of data or tracking of the stats, however that comes into, but there are some changes to what we thought was going to happen at the beginning of the season. Right uh, at the top, I want to say that points from aerial duels and points from shots at goals blocked are no longer part of the 2024 fantasy game. That update has been made on the scoring section of the, the game. If you're going to go click on that to see how all the points work, uh, those two stats previously included have been removed. I'm not sure if aerials was ever part of the game, uh, but at least shots at goals blocked look to have some sort of technical mapping error with it as players who were actually shooting and having their shot blocked were the ones getting the points and not the defenders who were blocking the shots as the game indicated that they would. Because of that, uh, both of those aerials, aerial duels and shots at goal blocked have been removed from the game. Additionally, what we're still looking into, so keep an eye on this with future updates on MLSFI, uh, it looks like there's been a change to the way clean sheets work. For those of you who are historical watchers of the MLS Fantasy Boss and MLSFI, uh, you'll know that we have a thing called the Madranda, uh, which is a Sporting Kansas City player, former Sporting Kansas City player, who came to fame in the fantasy realm for maintaining his clean sheet after having subbed out of the game at a great value and earning a lot of people a lot of points. That is how we've operated for several years, that if your player had a clean sheet when he left the game, if his team later conceded, he kept that clean sheet, assuming he had played at least 60 minutes. That no longer appears to be the case. It looks like now that if a player has a clean sheet when they leave, if the team concedes, that clean sheet will be removed from his score, even if he is not on the field. We're still looking into this. This could just be a quirk that happened in round one and unintended, um, but we will definitely follow up. But that appears to be what the case is at this time. So RIP the Madronda. Now, on a positive note, though, key passes look to be king. Uh, as, as we may have downplayed during our round one episode, now, now seeing how it's played out going into round two, just the ability of players to contribute that assist that generates a shot or contribute to the um, a shot themselves. Uh, there's a lot of key passes that are being generated from a lot of players, and that is just racking up the bonus points for forwards that we've not necessarily seen in the past, and even midfield players that we've not seen. So uh, key passes, definitely a very important stat for everyone to be paying attention to as you go forward in the game. What do these changes mean? Well, key passes is easy. Find those players who are generating those actions. As far as aerial duels, those players aren't going to be benefiting from that as much. So ideal, Benteke would have generated, I believe, three or four additional bonus points on top of his hat trick from round one, simply from aerial duels one. So that, that will be a great stat to look forward to next year. The blocks, that hurts more because that really hits into our defenders. If they're not getting those traditional CBIs and all the other defensive actions and they're not getting the blocks as they were parsed out for themselves, you're really just back to clean sheet hunting. And that is is a slip slide for a lot of defenders and makes those expensive guys hard to justify if you're just having to do a flip of the coin to see if you are going to get those points. 
Fortunately, with our round two episode for MLS Fantasy Insider, uh, I cover a lot of value players at the top of the show, so definitely check that out if you are looking for opportunities to lower your budget but still potentially have some value gain and potential points as you do your clean sheet hunting going forward. I hope you found this information helpful, timely, and informative because it is a change. Some of this is an ongoing discussion, and we will be sure to let you know as we find out. Head over to the MLS Fantasy Boss Discord if you want to stay in the know live. You can also follow MLS Fantasy Insider or myself, MLS Fantasy Boss, on Twitter or X if you would like to send me questions or just stay up to date as we find out more information. So that's it for now. More to come. And as always, good luck.